In this video, I'm going to talk about Magisk 24.1, which is the latest version of Magisk so far. If you're using this Magisk 24.1, you would have already seen a lot of differences as compared to the previous version. There are a lot of features that are added here and a lot of features have been nuked, including Magisk Hide. But this does not mean that you cannot use it in your phone to root your mobile phone and then not being able to hide your apps from knowing that your phone is rooted. You can still configure this Magisk in a way that will actually not let the other applications of your phone know that your phone is rooted and so you can use all the banking apps and every single application on your phone just like you would with the presence of Magisk Hide. Without wasting any time, let's configure this Magisk. So if you have installed Magisk which is 24.1 on your phone right now, this is the configuration that your app will be looking like. If you don't know how to install Magisk, I've already made a video about it. You can click on the icon and watch that video first, install it on your phone and then come back to this video. But if your phone does have Magisk, you can see that the installed version is 24.1. Zajisk is no. Ramdisk is yes in my case because this is Mi 11X. In your phone's case, this might be different. And then the application version would be 24.1. If you have all this, then well and good. Now, if I move to root checker, you can see the phone is rooted properly. And if I go to safety net right out of the box, this will fail. Most of the cases it will fail. As you can see, it's failing. Now, if I try to open any banking application such as Yono SBI, which is famous, it detects root, it closes itself. If I try to launch an application which is programmed in a way that if it is rooted, it will not let you go ahead. You will get a pop-up notification saying that your phone is rooted and because of security reasons, you cannot use the app. Now let's configure Magisk properly. So on the wrench icon on the top right, click on that and click on hide the Magisk app. Now this option helps against those apps which try to scan for the list of applications on your phone. And if they find applications such as Magisk or Super SU, they will not let you continue. By default, it will give you settings. If you want to go for settings, click on OK and let it do its work and now you can see this settings icon appearing here click on this and this is actually magisk in disguise click on ok and then you can see that your magisk application is gone and all you have is setting first step is that after doing that if you try to go for safety net again it will again fail because that's not something that's gonna prevent safety net from failing the main step here is if you go here click here and over here you'll see a new option called zygisk now Zygisk is another module that came in 24 version and before this, this was not really there. And this is the point where things start to get interesting. You have to enable this and you have to also enable this option called enforce deny list. And in order for this change to apply, you have to restart your phone. After you enable them, click on restart and wait until your phone is restarted. After your phone is restarted, you can go back to settings app and launch it. This time you will see this Zygisk option will become yes over here. If that happens, go back to the settings icon and scroll down and click on configure deny list. Now remember when I told you that Magisk does not have Magisk hide option anymore. This is the new option which works even better from applications to hide them to know that your phone is rooted. So right now in the list you can see all these applications installed in this phone. I'm going to enable Yono and would not enable Simple. These are the two applications which you tested earlier that were giving errors and detecting that the phone was rooted. Now I'm going to clear all the applications from the background. Click on Yono SBI. I have clicked on Yono SBI before and this time you can see this application is launching. This is not able to detect that the phone is rooted. Now if I click on simple again, go further get started it is still detecting that my phone is rooted now let's go and enable simple there as well to see if simple will get fooled by it or not so if i go here configure deny list and select simple now if i go back to simple click on proceed get started this is something that was not coming last time that means that simple is also not being able to detect that the phone is rooted that works pretty well now click on safety net run the test and you will see that this still fails because this is not being configured from here you have to flash a module for that but let's do that later on 
Now make sure that in configure deny list you enable all the applications here which will detect that your phone is rooted and then will stop working. So all the banking apps on UPI apps and every single other application that does not work with root. Now after all that fuzz we still have one issue that is the safety net. Now to fix this, this is a universal zip file which I have provided in the description. Download that zip file. Once you have downloaded that, put it in your phone somewhere in the storage. Once you have done that, go to modules, click on install from storage and find wherever you have put this safety net fix version 2.2.1.zip and click on that. Once clicked, it will flash on Magisk. Remember, you have to flash it through Magisk and not through TWRP. And once done, click on reboot. This will reboot your phone and once your phone is started back again, this should be passing safety net now. Now that the phone has restarted, let's go ahead again and click on safety net and check this time if this passes or not. And as you can see, safety net also passes here. And with that, you have configured Magis 24.1 successfully in such a way that all the applications are running perfectly and normally, including the bank apps. And if bank apps runs, every single application will run. With that, I end today's video. If you liked what you saw, click on that like button and subscribe to the channel for more. If you have any issues that you will be facing while doing these steps, let me know in the comment section below so that I can help you better directly. I have my social medias linked in the description, so feel free to follow me there or ping me there. I'll reply as soon as possible and I'll be catching you guys later with another video. Until then, take care.